The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I'm doing a full inspection and performance evaluation of the Nitro Z20, a tournament-level bass boat designed to get to the fishing spot first and offer all the other fishing amenities available on far more expensive boats. Since the first question everyone asks about bass boats is, how fast is it? Let's check out the performance. Nitro offers the Z20 with a standard Mercury 225 Pro XS 4-stroke or the upgrade to a 250 Pro XS. Our test boat had the 250 on a manually adjusted 12-inch jack plate. Checking out the numbers, the Z20 measures 20 feet 2 inches long with a 7 foot 10 inch beam and the hull draws 16 inches. Empty weight is listed at 2,000 pounds. With two people, 30 gallons of fuel and test equipment on board, we had an estimated test weight of 3,105 pounds. Our 250 Mercury 4-stroke outboard spun a stainless steel 14-inch by 24-inch Fury 3-blade stainless steel propeller. We wound up the engine to 6,200 RPM, hitting a top speed of 76.6 miles per hour. Best cruise came in at 3,000 RPM, where we saw 26.3 miles per hour and a fuel burn of 5.3 gallons per hour, giving us 5 miles per gallon and a range of 223 statute miles, all while holding a 10% reserve of the boat's 50-gallon fuel capacity. In acceleration test, the Z20 is equipped with Nitro's rapid planing system and she leveled off in 3.8 seconds and ran through 20 miles per hour in 5.3 and 30 miles per hour in 7.7 seconds. Mid-range acceleration with the four-stroke motor is strong enough to plant passengers in their seats. Notice that the water doesn't wash over the transom during deceleration. When it comes to handling, the Z20 is a bass boat. She wants to climb onto the pad and get moving. In arcing turn, she holds her line well and completes the maneuver. Running across boat wakes or through lake chop, just touch the down button on the trim and she rides smoothly. Nitro calls the Z20's bottom design NVT, which is short for Nitro Vortex Technology. There are six strakes that run the full length and have a parabolic shape. When the boat is running at speed, she rides on a keel pad. Nitro's construction process consists of hand-laid fiberglass with extra layers in the keel, chines, and other areas of stress, according to the builder. The 100% composite transom is chemically bonded in place. The Z20's one-piece stringer grid is constructed with open molding and it contains the inside of some of the boat's storage compartments for added space. So now that we've put the Z20 through our paces, let's go ahead to the docks and take a closer look at our features. Starting with the cockpit, the twin Z-Core bucket seats are built with force flex suspension and contoured frames. Nitro team angler Kevin Van Dam worked with the company on the seat design. The collaboration worked as I found the seats comfortable and supportive even at 75 miles per hour. Forward of the port bucket seat is the optional second console for anglers who like to fish with a partner and run at high speed. The console has a locking glove box with an opening that measures 16 inches wide and 6 inches tall. There are grab handles forward and outboard. To starboard, the helm console has V3 analog gauges, including the tachometer with an integrated trim indicator to port, the speedometer with a built-in fuel gauge to starboard, and instruments for water pressure and volts. The Lowrance Hook 2 5 Fish Finder comes standard, and owners can choose from a plethora of additional electronics. To port of the tilt steering wheel are the master power and ignition switches. On the starboard side of the steering wheel, a panel houses the switches for the nav and anchor lights, bilge pumps, and all the live well controls. Outboard to starboard are the stereo remote and conventional shift throttle controls. The Z20 comes standard with hydraulic steering, and on about the top 75 miles per hour, we would add the optional foot throttle and turn signal style trim switches so drivers can keep their hands on the wheel. Between the consoles are steps up to the forward casting deck. Outboard on each side are the cup holders and tool racks, and beneath the hinge step is a 62 quart cooler that has a removable wastebasket and sandwich tray. The bow casting deck covers 42.5 square feet, is covered in a paddock anti-fatigue mat, and forward on each side are bungee cords for holding down rods during a quick run to the next spot. Forward, the Z20 comes standard with a Minn Kota 24-volt trolling motor with 70 pounds of thrust and a 42-inch shaft. The bow panel has space for optional fish finders up to 12 inches, and to starboard are the switches for the navigation lights and outboard motor trim. Just aft are a tool rack and cup holder, plus the foot pedal for the trolling motor. Bow storage is found in three lockers, all of which open on gas struts and can be locked. The port side rod locker can take 10 rods up to 8 feet long. New for this model year, there are cup holders inside the center locker, which is lighted, measures 38 inches long by 24 inches wide, and has removable dividers. The starboard locker is open and has clips for securing a paddle and a fire extinguisher. 
For tying up to a dock or hanging fenders, there are two pull-up 4-inch cleats on each side. Moving to the aft fishing deck, there's a 22-inch wide step between the cockpit seats. Beneath the non-skid covered hatch is a shallow storage tray. Above the seats, there's a spot to store a net, and in the aft deck is a removable catch ruler. The aft deck is 82 inches wide and 46 inches fore and aft. In the aft port corner, the boarding ladder folds up on a non-skid deck, and there's a padded grab handle. There are four hatches in the aft deck. Those in the center lift to reveal twin 19-gallon Guardian live wells with digital timers, 750-gallon per hour pumps, a recirculating system, and rounded corners. Outboard on each side are removable tubs with slots for seven Plano 3700 tackle trays. Behind the live wells, a large hatch opens to provide access to the battery switch, charger, and other mechanical accessories. The boat comes with dual trolling batteries plus a dedicated engine start model. A hinged panel ahead of the batteries folds up to reveal the bilge and live well pumps. There's also a removable tray that drops into place above the batteries for more storage. To complete the package, the Z20 comes on a standard custom-made trailer that has a swing-away tongue. The Nitro Z20 is a tournament-quality bass boat, and with the new Mercury 4-stroke outboard, her performance remains strong. And that's my full test and performance review. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.